Um, so how do you move from awareness to action to results? And I, I, I think this is important because I, you know, I am confident that the overwhelming majority of the companies represented here today have it's certainly aware, certainly have a lot of things that go on in the organizations to advance the cause around inclusiveness and diversity. Um, but have we, we had the results that we want? Um, and so I'd like to talk a little bit about that. And a couple challenges that pop out that I caused me a little bit of a pause, so let me just share them with you. The first one has to do with something that's probably near and dear to all of us, and that's the economic crisis that we're in today. And we do have one. It's historic. It's unprecedented. Um, and it's amazing because you have countless organizations that are just struggling. You know, they're struggling today, trying to cope with what's going on in the economy. And, you know, you, you see it. You know, companies are focused on top line growth. We got to get more top line growth. We are so focused on managing expenses, you know, changing processes, getting our costs down, managing liquidity, managing cash. Some companies are just trying to survive. Okay, so it's an interesting time today. And what it makes me wonder is, on this issue of diversity and inclusiveness, does that still make the top of the list of things that need to be addressed? And I wonder how many companies are saying, you know what, it's important, but not now. And I, I, um, I would suspect, and, and maybe and you guys can tell me if you think I'm wrong on this, but my expectation is there are people in this room that are feeling a little bit of the pushback by, the comp by your organization saying, we got bigger priorities right now. And this is where I have to stop and say, um, while it's a challenge, there is no better time to deal with this issue than right now. And I, I, like to think about, I like to think about situations like this when you have a crisis. This is the time when companies really separate themselves from their competition. Right now, in a crisis, this is when it happens. And the company that can get through this and really keep this at the top of the agenda, I re personally, I really believe this will make a difference in that company's long-term success. Um, and so what I would encourage, or at least put on the table is, you know, for organizations today, particularly in the environment that we're in, how do you keep this at the top of the agenda? Um, you know, I, I, uh, I've said to some of the people in our organization, never let a crisis go to waste. You know, there's a lot of things we can get accomplished in an environment like this. One of the things I think about with all the different people that are not, that are not um, able to get employment, well, that means there are a lot of resources out there, a lot of talent that you can get access to that you might not have been able to get access to before. Um, and so don't let it go to waste. And you know, keeping this thing on the top of the agenda is important because if you really believe if you really believe in the business case, and if you really believe in, uh, that, in the fact that you need diversity and inclusiveness if you're gonna have long-term success, if you really believe that, this does not fall off the agenda. So that's one thing. Another challenge that I think people have to really embrace is the fact that, uh, or, or get over the perception that numbers if you have the numbers in an organization that you've, you've um, succeeded in some way. This perception that, you know, if you, you're able to provide numbers, get people in the door, get them part of the organization, that the work is done. We gotta get over that because I tell you, this thing about visibly being able to see diversity in, or, is an, or, in an organization is just part of the issue. The fact that you can have you know, a team of women and minorities and, and white males as part of a team, that's only part of the equation. That's only part of what you need to do to be successful at this. Because what I would argue is that what's more important is that when they work together that they're effective. Are they effective? And I think that's where we have to start seeing results.